Hi guys, uh, if you're looking to buy a case for the Fimi X, X, X8 from uh, Xiaomi, there's this really nice case that you can get to you know store your drone, your batteries, and your cables. Uh, so I actually found this one and it was pretty interesting. I like this one a lot. I'm going to show you really quickly. It got here relatively quickly. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm really not sure what to expect. So you can see this just as I am. So at first glance, pretty nice. I got this for under $20, so it was a pretty good deal. And uh, it's supposed to be held like this vertically. So you can see it's held like this. And it has this little thing so you, so you can attach, attach a strap to. Pretty nice. You can see the handle is has this kind of a not much of a cushion, but it is relatively comfortable to hold. Um, the back, you can see this on the back. You have some Velcro here. We can put some cables here, maybe. And on the front, you have this little zipper. You zip this. Also stick like a smartphone here or cables, maybe some memory cards. Around the inside, I'm gonna unzip this. So it zips all the way back. This right here is just decorative. There's no pouch here. I only have this one. So you open this up, it came pretty, Pretty smashed up in the mail as you can see not very happy with that but you know whatever when once I stick the drone in here it'll kind of go back into shape I could maybe even heat this up a bit with the hairdryer and mold it back into, into shape that's because they shoved this into my mailbox whatever here on this part you see there's uh, there's a little bit of padding in here as well not much here on the front on this top part but like I said, for you know, for less than twenty dollars, you can't expect anything super amazing. There's also a little pouch right here for you to stick some cables. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. But I'm gonna try and put some links that are better, a better supplier than this one, to avoid this happening to you. So yeah, guys, you know, besides that, it's a pretty nice case. Pretty cool. Okay, so guys, you can now see the case uh, with the Femi inside. I've already tested this out. Um, I see some pros and some cons about this that I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's just open this up so you can see this better. I actually cut this out in some felt to kind of protect this a little bit better. And you can see the Femi here inside. So. It Here's the Femi. You can click on the card above to see the unboxing of the Femi. So it actually comes with this little protective uh, extra in foam insert. You can either put this over the drone when it's in here or under. I opted to put it under. Uh, here are the remotes. You can see it accommodates pretty nicely in there. I put the charger right here in this slot right here. And here I put the cables, all the extra cables to connect to your remote. And you can also uh, place two extra batteries here if you have them. So you can have one in the drone, one here, one there, the charger, the remote, and here you can put some cables or some manuals. Uh, then here on this part, you can see there's like a little slot right here where you can stick some documents or some cables as well. And then you have this outer zipper. This is where I put the strap that I, I, don't, I normally don't use the strap. This is the strap that comes with it. So you can use this on your shoulder and you actually attach it here on these little connectors. And this is also where I put the other cable that connects to the charger because they, they really don't fit all that well in there. Now, um, the uh, it also comes with this so this is like a little strap with an attachment 
to keep your drone in place. So you just clip this together and you can adjust this. You can tighten this more or less if you want to. Now, the disadvantage that I was telling you about, I also forgot it has this, almost forgot about that. You have this little compartment here. So you can also stick documents here, flight authorizations and whatnot, um, insurance papers, whatever, manuals. Uh, the main disadvantage of this case, in my opinion, is that the drone slits sits uh, fairly close to the top cover. So once you close this, you can kind of feel a little bulge here. But the drone isn't the main issue. The main issue to me is kind of the charger. So you can see that once you put the charger in here, this part of the cable actually sticks a bit out. And once you close this, you can actually feel the bulge here. So if you hit this with something, you might even damage this charger. But it's not like a deal breaker. It's not like serious. It's, you know, just have to be careful with that. But besides that, it's an excellent case for the money. You pay like 15 to 20 to $25, depending <clears throat> at the uh, prices at the, at the time of, of any promotions they have, whatever the shifting of the prices are. But it's a really nice case. You know, you can just slide your drone, your Femi drone in here. So it's specific for the Femi drone. This case in particular, you put your remote in there. You can leave the joysticks on. You don't have to remove them because it actually has a little slot there for your remotes, as you can see. Very, very, very nice. Here you can have your charger. Note that if you have your charger here, and you have two batteries, you won't actually have a place to stick your cable unless you kind of drop it here on your drone. Uh, you can do that. It's not like super, like a, much, that much of an issue. You can use this foam insert, like I said, on the top or on the bottom. I'm actually using it on the bottom because that way I have the drone kind of easier to grab here. So if I put it under, it becomes easier to pull the drone out and it keeps protected uh, the same. Then you have the cables, put them nice and tidy in there. And this cable, the charging cable, I kind of fold like this. And you can either put it here or there. I prefer to put it here so it doesn't scratch the drone or anything like that. And then I actually cut this, like I said, I cut this out with some felt material. Anywhere you can get like uh, office material, you can buy this and cut this out, the shape. And that way, nothing will scratch your, your remote or your drone. It keeps nice and, and brand new. And then you just fasten this like that. And you know your drone is nice and tidy and safe. Close this up. Zipper it up. And the strap, you can either use it or not. I, I prefer without the strap. I'm just going to show you how this clips on. Let's clip it on here. Clip this side over here. And that's it. The handle's fairly comfortable. And so, yeah, you have a nice little kit here, kind of like what you see on the Mavic. Everything's nice and tidy and put away. And this is basically the kit I take with me. I take my drone, my Femi drone, I uh, put with, like some extra memory cards here. And I also take this little landing mat can check out that card as well I have the unboxing of this and a, like a quick review for you to check this out and the links if you want to get this for yourselves and yeah this is it guys if you like the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe it'll really help me out and help the channel grow and leave your comments what do you think about this case uh, would you buy it or not would you recommend this do you have one yourself if you do leave your opinions on what you think about this so yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you in a next video, bye bye.